Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In the 21st century's technological landscape, ships are undoubtedly the most dazzling star. They are not only the heart of modern industry, but also an important symbol of a country's scientific and technological strength and comprehensive national strength. From satellite navigation in the vast universe to mobile phones and computers that are indispensable in daily life, chips are everywhere, and the technological content and strategic value behind them are self-evident. However, this road to chip autonomy is not a smooth one, especially in the context of increasingly fierce senior U.S. technological competition. China's chip industry is facing unprecedented challenges and opportunities. As a pioneer and hegemony of global chip technology, the United States has long dominated the global chip market with its deep technical accumulation and huge industrial chain advantages. However, with the rise of Chinese high-tech companies such as Huawei, especially the advent of Huawei's Kirin chip, it not only broke the monopoly of American companies such as Qualcomm in the high-end chip market, but also made the United States feel unprecedented competitive pressure. In order to maintain its own technological hegemony, the United States has imposed a series of severe sanctions on Chinese companies such as Huawei since 2019 trying to curb the development of China's chip industry through technological blockades and market restrictions. In this technological war, lithography machines have become the key to the game between the two sides. As the core equipment for chip manufacturing, the precision and performance of the lithography machine directly determine the quality and performance of the chip. The leading company in the global lithography machine market, ASML of the Netherlands, produces EUV, extreme ultraviolet, lithography machines, which are the only equipment in the world that can produce advanced process chips of 7 nanometers and below. Faced with pressure from the United States, the Netherlands and Japan were forced to join the ranks of technological blockades against China restricting the export of key equipment such as high-end lithography machines. Faced with the heavy pressure of the external environment, the Chinese chip industry did not choose to retreat, but rose to the challenge and embarked on the road of independent research and development. From the national level to the enterprise level, investment and support for the chip industry have been increased forming an unprecedented chip manufacturing craze. From design, manufacturing to packaging and testing, all links in the Chinese chip industry chain are accelerating to catch up, striving to achieve a transformation from following to running side by side and even leading. It is particularly worth mentioning that despite the impact of the restricted import of key equipment, such as lithography machines, the Chinese chip industry has not stagnated. On the contrary, through technological innovation and industrial upgrading, domestic companies have continuously broken through technical bottlenecks and improved product quality and performance. At the same time, the huge demand in the domestic market also provides a broad space for the development of domestic chips. According to statistics, since the chip rules were revised, China has been continuously reducing the import volume of chips every year and instead supporting the development of domestic chips. This internal circulation Promotion has not only promoted the rapid growth of domestic chips, but also laid a solid foundation for the independent control of China's chip industry. Recently, 
The second quarter financial report released by ASML of the Netherlands has once again attracted the attention of the global technology community. Data show that ASML's revenue in the second quarter reached 6.243 billion euros, about 49.1 billion yuan, of which the revenue from the Chinese mainland market accounted for as much as 49%. This data not only highlights the importance of the Chinese market to ASML, but also reflects the vigorous vitality and strong demand of China's chip industry from one side. Despite the difficulties of external sanctions and technological blockades, China's chip industry still shows strong resilience and vitality. In the first half of this year, ASML exported about 88 lithography machines to the Chinese mainland market, with a total value of 33.9 billion yuan. This figure not only exceeds any previous period, but also once again proves the important position of the Chinese market in the global chip industry. In this regard, foreign media have said, the more sanctions there are, the stronger Chinese chips will become. Looking to the future, the prospects of China's chip industry are undoubtedly full of hope. With the country's high attention and continuous investment in scientific and technological innovation, as well as the continuous growth and maturity of the domestic market, China's chip industry is expected to usher in a broader space for development. At the same time, with the profound changes and adjustments in the global scientific and technological landscape, China's chip industry will also play a more important role and contribute more to global scientific and technological progress and economic development. Of course, we should also be aware that the road to independence in the chip industry is not achieved overnight. In terms of core technology, talent reserves, and industrial chain collaboration, we still need to make more efforts and sweat. But as long as we have firm confidence and climb to the top, we will surely usher in the glorious moment of the comprehensive rise of domestic chips. In this battle of lithography machines, we have seen the fierceness and cruelty of the Sino-US technological game, and also witnessed the tenacity and strength of domestic chips rising from adversity. The future has come, let us work together to create a better tomorrow for China's chip industry.